We are building something big on the football fields of Morgan State University. Now it's time to put it to test. Yeah, the Bears kick off their season in just a couple of days. WMER 2 News Sean Steffener tells us about this year's squad. Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. A year into his tenure as head coach at Morgan State, Damon Wilson sees progress with his program on the cusp of the 2023 season. Good job, good job, Mo. They had a year uh, to learn one another, had a year for the guys to understand and for the coaches to implement the, the process, the way we're going to do things. You're seeing guys really starting to care about one another and want to play for each other. Their first chance arrives on Saturday at 6 p.m., game one at Richmond. It's exciting. You know, you've been beating up on one another for the last month. So now you get an opportunity to play another team in a different color uniform. But also, it's, it's, it's a little nerve-wracking because you don't know what you have until the ball is kicked off. One thing Wilson is banking on having is experience. 16 starters from a team that went 4-7 and seven last year are back. Eight on offense, eight on defense. I'm very excited to see us play. Like, we're very disciplined and very like talented all around in every position group. One of the new guys, Baltimore native Brandon Savage, the Milford Mill grad, former all MEAC and HBCU All-American, comes over from Norfolk State. It's almost a surreal type feeling. I'm excited to be back home, my family, my friends, my new teammates. I'm excited to see what our, our defense can do this year. As for the starting quarterback situation, look for the Bears to lean on Carson Baker. He started seven games last year before suffering a labrum injury. Now that non-throwing shoulder is healed and he's all set. I got uh, a good chance last year to play and uh, play in the offense and get a lot of good tape. So uh, for me, just got to progress, keep getting better. He's a lot more comfortable, you know, in a system. He understands the checks downs. He understands uh, his, 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 the progression. And the entire team understands the goal. Run, run, right, get that inside hand. Inside. Even though they were picked to finish fourth in the six-team Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, their sights are set on the Celebration Bowl, the historically black colleges and universities national championship. Our expectation is very high for this season, so we just trying to do our best, see if we can end our, end our um, season in Atlanta. In Baltimore, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.